Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Isle of Burke. It's a pretty normal town filled with tons of Vikings. There is one thing different about the Isle of Burke. You see, they don't have ordinary pets. Instead, they have dragons. And in this series, I'll be taming them all as the chief of dragons. So ladies and gentlemen, it looks like my adventure starts here. This is the Isle of Burke. Now I've tamed plenty of dragons during my days, but I have never Never actually been to Burke. And supposedly here, I am going to find tons of the dragons from the How to Train Your Dragon series, and I actually see one directly ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoy, or if you like cookies, be sure to go ahead and smash like with your nostril. Not your nose, it's gotta be your nostril. See the thing on my nose. Why, hello there, Hiccup and Toothless. Uh, this is Burke. It's 12 days north of Hopeless and a few degrees south of freezing to death. But there's something that we have that makes it all worth it. Dragons. I'm Hiccup Horrendous Haddock III, leader of Burke's Dragon Training Academy. Before you're ready to take care for dragons, you'll have to pass the exam. Uh, Ain't that right, bud? Please don't eat me. Head inside the dragon arena uh, and I'll introduce you to the first task. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, personally, if I had to say, uh, you know, a little bit about myself, um, yeah, I don't think I need dragon training. Like, literally, I've been training dragons for, I want to say, the past three years. And actually, wait, I don't know if you guys can see. Right up there next to my head, it looks like we might have a deadly natter. Now, I'm not going to claim to be an expert on the how to train your world dragons, uh, but I'm going to become one in this series. So, I guess Hiccup is the dragon training expert, and who knows? Maybe I'll learn something new. Please select what device you're playing on by interacting with the icon. Wait a second. There's actually a lot of different things you could play on. There's PlayStation, Switch, Xbox, uh, touchscreen, or keyboard and mouse. Comment down below what you guys actually play on. I'm a little bit curious. I'm guessing most of you guys play on touchscreen, but probably there's some Xbox people out there, Switch people, maybe even some PlayStation people. I'm personally an Xbox person, but we're gonna be playing this on keyboard and mouse. I did it, Hiccup. First, you'll have to tame a dragon found in the wild. This is Pebbles, a Gronkle. Hey, Pebbles! Gronkles love to eat rocks. Grab some from the ground and feed them to Pebbles when they approach you. Steady now, Pebbles. Steady. Steady, it's okay. Hiccup said that I need to sneak while approaching them so that I don't accidentally scare them. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up some rocks. I had no idea that Gronkles ate rocks. <laughs> I guess it's like cookies to them. Okay, we got to make sure that we're approaching super sneakily. Very sneaky like, just going to be a 007 sneaky agent. Call me Beck Bro Sneaky, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to disturb Pebbles one bit. Oh, what's up, you handsome, beautiful creature? We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to feed you a pebble. Do I need to throw them down maybe? Let's see. Oh, are you sniffing it? No. Oh, oh, wait. Did, did it eat it? Did it eat it? I'm, I'm going to shower you Pebbles with the smaller Pebbles. I think I may need to gain Pebbles trust. So we're going to try to lure Pebbles out out of her cage. That's a good girl. Come on, look at these. Look, look, no, 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 stop, stop. Tur turn back around. Look, look, I got, I got rocks. It's okay, Pebbles. <laughs> it just sounds really scary, but I need to tame it. Oh, wait, is it working? Okay, she seems to be gaining my trust. Oh, Pebbles is approaching. Come on, Pebbles. I know you want a couple pieces of juicy rocks. Maybe you actually don't. Come on, Pebbles, just eat the rocks. Okay, we're gonna be really gentle this time. I'm gonna come in and you're gonna eat Eat the really crunchy rocks. That's a good little Pebbles. There you go. Come on. Come on. Yes, wait, she's eating them. Yes, Pebbles. Yes, Pebbles. Yes. Munch on the rocks. She literally ate them like they were cookies. It's exactly how I eat cookies in one singular bite. Looks like Pebbles is really starting to like you. Try approaching the dragon and interacting to see if Pebbles will let you ride them. Pebbles. I have a lot more rocks where that came from. Plus, I've been told by other dragons, even though they can't speak English, that I'm really, really good at uh, at fly. Let's try it out, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Oh, 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 that was insane. So every single dragon mod or map that I played on is a little bit different. And this one is definitely really different than the others. So it seems like to take off, I need to press space. I can attack with left click. And it seems like in order to tame the dragon, you actually need to ride on it and gain its trust. You did it! Pebbles will now listen to your commands. I'll hand it over to our so-called experts. Roughnut and Toughnut. They'll teach you how to fly. Hey there, I'm Roughnut, the cool one. I'm Toughnut, the smart one. We'll teach you how to fly. Use the jump button to start flying. What? What's a jump button? I'm confused. Look up to fly upwards and look down to fly downwards. Roughnut, are you okay? If you're a true pro, you'll use the jump button while flying to die. What? I didn't know that. Show us what you got. 
and fly through these hoops. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am somewhat of an expert, so this should be a walk in the park. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna hit space to take off. There we go. Okay, dude, the crockle is actually really slow. Okay, so I can press space again to dive. Oh, okay, okay. This is gonna take a little bit of getting used to. So I can look up to fly up. I can look down to fly down, but space bar dives, and then I can hit space again to stop the diving process. I just realized too, bro. There are dragons out here. It's barf and belch. I feel like I need to show off quite a bit so that they know I really don't need dragon training school. Let's try to complete this as fast as possible. There we go. We have another ring here. Okay, this is actually, this is pretty darn easy. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, okay, I need to go left a little bit. Got that one. Easy enough. Looks like they want me to fly all around the, the entire city. The dragon animations are super cool too. It reminds me of the other dragon map that I played a little bit ago. Okay, yeah, we're definitely flying through the city. Okay, all right, I need to make sure not to accidentally land. Did we make it? We did! Welcome to the dragon stables. Nice flying! As if. It wasn't even close to my record-breaking time. Pico said not to antagonize the new riders. Thanks, Roughnut. Isn't it time for fish legs nerd thing now? Oh, uh, that grotto is really weird. A rider of taste, I see. I'm fish legs. Burke's lead. Only? Ahem, <laughs> only dragon researcher. These are the dragon stables. If your dragon gets lost, it will return here. There's a pen for each type of dragon. Sneak and interact. On a tame dragon to sit them. If you want to learn more about a dragon, check out the Book of Dragons. Study up before approaching a dragon in the wild. You done, fish pants? I suppose. Once you're ready for the combat trial, go talk to Snotlout. Okay, Snotlout's right up there. That was a lot of information, ladies and gentlemen, so let's make sure that I got all of that. So, we've met fish legs, we've met Hiccup, we have Tough Nut and Rough Nut, and we're meeting all of their dragons. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of the How to Train Your Dragon movies. I haven't watched a TV show yet, but if you guys want me to, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely start watching it. So my first dragon is gonna be Pebbles. Let's make sure that we're able to do all the different commands. So if I shift right click, it looks like Pebbles will sit. We also have Meat Lug. Meat Lug is resting on the ground. She rolls onto her side and Fish Leg scratches her belly. Well, it looks like Meat Lug and Pebbles are, uh, I guess, twins. Oh, we have a naming station over here. So if we do get another dragon, we can name it. I was gonna say we can get a new uh, name for Pebbles, but I really do like Pebbles. Well, I think we're ready to figure out how to start attacking with our brand new dragons. So let's check out Snotlout. Name Snotlout, master of awesome and official weapons tester. Punch to direct your dragon's fire. Prove to me your Vikingness by destroying these targets. All right, easy enough. So all we have to do is left click in order to attack. What? Bro, nobody told me Pebbles had a massive fireball. Let's go ahead and we're gonna attack. Oh, wait, we have a moving target. We have a couple moving targets. Easy enough. That just exploded in my face. Let's aim a little bit up. Okay, all right, all right. We might actually need to go up here for these. Oh, there we go. I nailed the one inside of this. And then for the next one, I probably need to just uh, maybe flap my wings up here. Does that hit? <laughs> it keeps exploding in my face. Let's try to get really close. There we go. Oh, I nailed it. There's a target up there. Stop exploding! Target up there. Okay, got that one too. So wherever I look, it seems that that's exactly where Pebbles will attack. And just like that, we nailed all of them. Okay, you're finally finished. That's not how I would have done it, but I suppose you're new to this. Pickup is waiting for you outside of the Great Hall. That's the big building at the back of work. Wait, what happens if I attack another dragon? Okay, good, good. I'm not able to attack friendly dragons like Hookfang. So far, we've seen a lot of different types of dragons, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm guessing if everybody else is able to tame them, I'll be able to get them too. I'll be like, Ash, catch them, and I'm definitely gonna capture them all. I'm guessing some are probably more rare than others. Supposedly, I was supposed to get, like, some sort of dragon book, so let me see if I can find that. Oh! Oh, wait a second. Okay, so there's a bunch of different information in here. This actually has the dragon book. Okay, so it gives me the location of the dragons, the diet, and also their different attacks. So the Gronkles lack speed, agility, stamina, and energy, obviously. They make four in defense and overall cuteness. I mean, Pebbles is pretty darn cute. I can't even lie. But in this book, we have every single dragon that I believe we can get, and there's some sort of unknown dragon. I want you guys to comment down below which dragon you would like to see me get in the next episode. But let's go ahead and take off back to the main city of Burke, and then we can find the Great Hall where Hiccup is waiting. I'm not sure if this is it, but if I were to have a Great Hall, it would probably be here. Hello, anybody home? Is anybody here baking cookies? Oh, well, we have a map. So here we have the Isle of Burke. I'm not entirely sure if the other areas just aren't mapped yet, or if there's nothing else out here. Oh, there's Hiccup. What's up, Toothless? Toothless and I have been all over the place trying to get a proper map of the islands around Burke. We've been to a lot of places, but it would be great to get another set of eyes on the isles. Hold on tight to your map and visit every island in the Archipegalo. For those of you guys out there that didn't know, Archipegalo is a grouping of islands. 
Hiccup also wants me to help his friends in order to get special tokens. And also, if I want to earn a Hiccup token... I gotta do something, but he didn't really say. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have to start going around and uh, finding the different aisles. Oh, I guess that's his quest for me. He wants me to map out the entire barbarian archipelago. So this is the world map and we've barely explored. And every single one of his friends supposedly has their very own quest for me. So we have a lot of work to do. This is just the start of the series, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are excited in the next episode. Hopefully we'll be able to at least complete another quest, explore a brand new area and get a brand new dragon. If you guys are excited like myself, be sure to smash like with your nostril, hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out and comment down below what dragon I should get. That is gonna wrap it up. My name is Beckbro Chief of Dragons and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.